Hey guys, your boy Moist Mercy, and I'm back with another video. And this time, I'm actually gonna try something uh, a little interesting, at least in my opinion. Uh, recently, or not recently, I guess it's been like a month or something. I don't actually know. I have to check. But my video about my evil Pegasus combo or villainous Pegasus co Pe Pegasus combo. Uh, Nightmare Pegasus DF-105 LRF has been doing pretty well, so I decided to make an evolution video to it. So this is what if Nightmare Pegasus evolved, and I actually do have the combo here. I just did not put it together, which I guess I should do now for you to see it. Uh, this is Nightmare Pegasus. This is the combo I made. Uh, I used the Nemesis wheel instead of a Pegasus because I didn't have a black Pegasus that I wanted to use. And I really wanted to put this green face bolt to use. And we have DF-105 LRF just for fun. This time, however, I'm not going to use Nightmare or DF-105 and LRF. I'm actually going to try and upgrade this. Um, I want to see if I can make it a bit better. LRF was a bit difficult to control and get that good flower pattern on so i wanted to try and go for something a bit more controllable like shrink is really harnessing that dark power and making his base something greater something that he truly owns and controls and so here we go i'm deciding to upgrade to the hell metal wheel i'm keeping the same energy ring and face bolt because i think it looks nice and it fits best if I do get an actual black Pegasus uh, energy ring, then I'll use it, but I do not have one yet. So I'm going to be using the Hell Wheel because it looks really nice. It feels pretty good. It's pretty heavy, very heavy, actually. And it has some good attack power. I feel it'll do pretty well. So it is definitely a much better wheel than uh, Nightmare. Nightmare is pretty light, um, doesn't have some much great contact, well it has good contact points, it's just not quite heavy enough to compete similar to Galaxy. So we have Nightmare, or Hell Pegasus so far. We're going to be upgrading from DF-105 to Wing Attack 130. Um, that's just not a part I use a lot, I would have used a Wing 105 or something else, but I wanted to try out... Uh, wing attack 130 i like the free spinning on this so i thought it would be a good fit for this video lastly we will be going from lrf a pretty hard to control hard to flower bay to uh, part to something that's still pretty hard to control but i feel like it's going to be much easier to get that flower pattern in to get a lot more knockouts a lot of good contact with an r2f this is just a part i didn't have an rf that matched the colors and i kind of didn't want to match the colors here of course we're gonna go from a black lower half to a red lower half but i feel like it looks good nonetheless and should still perform really well i was going to use something like 85 on this because hell is quite raised so i feel like 85 might be better for it to get those sort of under like sweeping attacks from underneath but this will just have to do and i think it looks pretty good uh we have a unpainted hell wheel which i got from hell Beelzeb. it's much easier to get from something like a uh, hell herculeo or something like that but i took mine off of hell Beelzeb just to flex uh wing attack 130 i'm interesting er, i'm interesting uh, I'm interested to see if this will actually do anything on the hell wheel, which is pretty wide. Maybe if another combo manages to get under it or something, I don't know. I feel like I really should have gone with like something low, like 90, 85, something like that, because of how raised hell is. It'd basically just act like a 105 or something like that. But we're here already with the wing attack. Maybe I'll try some other combo on hell to prove its use in attack but for now this is what we got so, so let me get the battles ready and we'll be back to test this thing out all right guys so i've decided on three no four battles um hell is a pretty heavy wheel so i chose mostly four d bays uh i i know it's not technically four d but it's so heavy that it, i'm just going to put it against other 
4D parts because there should be in a similar tier aside from the first battle which is going to be against Twisted Tempo because this is a pretty tanky combo pretty good um not much else to say good defense just I just have to see if hell can beat it this is probably one of the baits where I'm going to be wishing I used 85 R2F or something like that instead of we can attack 130, but I felt like doing something different. Next, we're going to have Fang Leon. Uh, I'm using the red top because I don't have a proper like Fang wheel, and I don't like how the green looked with this. But it's just the regular combo on the bottom. It's not the actual Burning Claw combo because I never got the parts for it. And next, we're going to have it against Flash Sagittario. Uh, no real reasoning other than, you know, it's Sagittario, I guess, Kent is trying to stop Chinga from being evil, whatever. I don't care. I'm not making a whole story for this. And then we also have El Drago, uh, Destructor. I will not be having a good version this time. It's just gonna be Destructor. Uh, I do not have, like, parts or different El Dragos to make it differ enough to have a good version especially one that's going to handle hell pegasus being you know so heavy and strong i feel like it's just gonna overall lead to a pegasus win unless it doesn't get knocked out or whatever else happens it's hard to improve on something using rdf in the first place so those are the four battles we're gonna do Let's just go ahead and get right into them. Alright, so kicking things right off, we're gonna go straight into the Twisted Tempo battle. Uh, let's see if kick in that. Ooh. Actually, he gets reverse KO'd here. As you can see, there. Oh, I need to stop with the as you can see thing again. But as you saw. Pegasus was actually containing a solid flower pattern there, which is very good. Okay, not this time. I did mess up this time. I am, this is a mid-fake R2F, but hopefully it still does good in this combo. This is going to be the second L for Pegasus against Twisted Tempo, unfortunately. If you did remember last time, Twisted Tempo was also a massive roadblock for Nightmare Pegasus, so maybe Twisted Tempo is just too good. Dang, even without a rubber tip, Twisted Tempo still eats attacks like no one's business. That is a clean sweep win for Twisted Tempo. Maybe... I should switch to that 85. Actually, I'm going to switch it to 85 mid-video, and I do not care what you tell me. Alright, so of course, leading off with the battle against Twisted Tempo. Let's call Hirogium if you're into the Japanese pronunciation. Let me relaunch because I accidentally flung Pegasus across the room. So, let's see if that change to 85 really makes a difference. And it does, as we see a quick, easy knockout from Pegasus sending Twisted Tempo right out of the stadium. And another one-shot straight knockout to Twisted Tempo. The eyes have really turned here, so one more. One more KO. Never mind, he was a bit too uncontrolled there. Shinga still needs to work on harnessing that dark power. one knockout see the difference that 85 made in place of wing attack that is crazy let's just hop right into the battle with fang leon i guess all right now for the battle against leon. Ooh, the camera leon actually able to eat these attacks pretty well head on it does have a bit of a shorter spin track, so maybe Hell just isn't quite able to get under there quite as nicely as it did against other bays. Oh, 
I take that right back. That was a quick knockout, sending Leon right up. Maybe on scores 1-1. One, one. First three of four seconds. Wow, I actually thought Pegasus was going to lose that one, but it came in with a quick, swift knockout to Leon. Let's see if he can take home that victory in this next match. Turns out two to one. of good hits but it looks like Pegasus will not be winning this one. Wow! Okay, that should have been a loss for Leon because it was actually out of the stadium. If this was a BB33 that would have been a win for Pegasus because that straight up hit right over here. That should have been a win for Pegasus. So I'm going to count it as a win for Pegasus because it's my video and you can't do anything about it. However, I will do one more match to see if Pegasus wins. Does, wow, okay. He actually beat Leon by outspinning it from hitting it too hard. That is actually pretty good. I'll take that. Uh, then we're moving on to Flash Sagittario. All right, get ready. Is it going to be over in a flash? Actually, maybe not, because Hell Pegasus probably isn't a flash. Like, good enough for a knockout now. Just kind of hitting in the ankles and destabilizing it. So I think Flash is just the perfect counter to this. Or at least Flash Sagittario stock combo. Because it's not quite able to be knocked out properly, it's not hitting that metal, so it's not causing enough pain for it. Yeah, Pegasus isn't quite able to keep up with something so tall. If it was still on wing attack, it would have easily stomped this Sagittario. But unfortunately, it's not, so we can't really do that. Oh, wow. There was actually able to get a pretty good knockout. So, I'll take that. Scores 2-1. Probably gonna end in a 3-1 in Sagittarius. Sagittario very aggressive this time. That makes the score a 3-1. Pegasus wasn't quite able to win, but that's all right. Moving on, lastly, to El Drago Destructor. Let's see how Pegasus fares against El Drago Destructor. Oh, oh this is my freaking messed up LR launcher. Let me go grab my regular one. All right. Ooh, gotta fix up the camera again. We're doing the final battle against El Drago Destructor. Of course, as I said, no good El Drago this time because I don't have parts for it. And I just put, put El Drago on a right launcher, of course. Let's go ahead and dive into it. Wow, that was a pretty nice knockout. We see Pegasus destabilizing El Drago just to get right under it and then Bang, right out of the stadium. So far, that makes this 1-0 in favor of Pegasus. A one-hit quick knockout sends El Drago out of the stadium. Pegasus is out of control. He's killing everything tonight except the cemetery. seen the survive mode in action is it going to be able to spin steal and kill pegasus here it looks like it might actually his final survive mode actually coming in clutch for once or not pegasus actually barely outspun it i'll do one more because i want to see more out of el trago because i barely use it 
that of course does not count because no contact. Dang, those are some pretty satisfying knockouts whenever it just gets sent right zooming around the stadium. Anyways, that's about it for this video. Uh, Nightmare Pegasus is a pretty... Er, dang, I've been saying Nightmare so much. Hell Pegasus is still... Er, not still, it just is a very good combo. Very happy with how it turned out, how it performed. Uh, switching to the 85 was definitely good, considering how tall Hell is. It wasn't able to get good coverage with the Wing Attack 130 that I had on it before. But... I, th I think that's probably better for something more normal size, like Flash, or normal height at least, like Flash, of course, or Spiral, or whatever else. Anyways, that's been Nightmare Pegasus. Of course, shout out Exotics, because that's where I kind of got the spin track and fusion wheel for this bay. Um, yeah, not much else to say about it. I'm pretty happy with how he performs. I'm very excited because usually my combos don't perform the best. The old Nightmare Pegasus performed fairly well. And some of the combos performed fairly well. But a lot of my combos in general tend to not do the greatest. Maybe I'm still just learning. Of course, Exotic Server, as usual, will be in the description below. Make sure to join if you want to buy some pretty good Beyblades for pretty good deals. That's going to be more Moist Mercenary. That's it. Um, remember to subscribe, like if you enjoyed all the obligatory YouTuber stuff. See you next time.